Hi, this is Michelle Roebuck. I want to thank you for watching this video. Today, I'm talking about how to get signups in your business opportunity. Now, you may be in a business opportunity right now, or you've been in several business opportunities and have always struggled to get signups in your business. You may have gotten just a few signups, a handful of them, or you may not have gotten any signups at all. So I'm going to show you one of the reasons why you may not be getting signups okay so uh, I'm not gonna go over all of them in this video because I don't want to make the video too long but I will go over a couple alright now when you first get into a business opportunity let's say you're a beginner in this or you've been struggling for a while in several different opportunities what usually happens is that you're told to drive traffic to an offer okay so the company the whatever company you're with they may have a replicated um, sales funnel that you can use that everybody is using to drive traffic to it in order to try to get signups so your driving traffic is paid free traffic to an opt-in page or a lead capture page and the sole purpose of the lead capture page is to just get the person's contact information okay it'll have an enticing headline that will get people curious about the business so they put in their email address to find out more information so they put their email address in and then they go to a video sales letter that the company provides to you and then when they want to sign up they click on a button here and then they go to the sign up page. All right. This is the sign up page. All right. And that's how it's supposed to work. And of course, you might have the option to uh, build your email list. So people who put in their email address on the lead capture page, if you connect your email autoresponder, okay, then you can start sending these emails out to your leads every day okay and sometimes the company may give you um, an email follow-up series already written for you you just put into your email autoresponder and then when people put in their email address on the lead capture page they're automatically put onto your email list and then they will automatically start receiving these emails every day and these emails the purpose of them is to redirect them back to the video sales letter okay and the reason that it does that is because 99% if not a hundred percent of people who put in their email address to get more information go to the video sales letter and watch that most of them are not going to go to the sign up page here okay they're not going to be ready to sign up in your business opportunity at that point so that's why it's important to build an email list in order to follow up with those leads over and over and over again so they can get exposed to the business over and over and over they need to see the offer 7 8 15 20 times before they decide to join you in your business now that's very important because what really happens and this this is not an industry secret but I call it an industry secret okay because people don't really get this let me get a different color what happens is that people don't join businesses okay it doesn't matter what this business is it, it doesn't matter people don't join businesses people join people and this is the reason why most people when they get involved in a business opportunity and they don't get signed this is the reason why they they're not getting signups because they don't understand this concept of people joining people just look back at how you signed up for a business opportunity I'm gonna use myself as an example now last year I was on YouTube 
looking up various ways to make money online. And I came across a certain person who had a YouTube channel who was talking about a certain business opportunity. So I watched his video. And I found it interesting. And I watched some more of his videos. Okay? And then eventually, I would go into the description area below the video and click on a link that he had there to find out more about whatever whatever this business was. So I clicked on the link, put in my email address, email address, and then I ended up on his email list and I started receiving emails from him every day. Okay? And the majority of these emails were what are called value-based emails. What I mean by that was that he was providing training. Training on different types of ways to make money online, um, how to make money online. All of his emails had some type of training in it. He would make a YouTube video giving some training about internet marketing, and then he would email his list a link to that video and then I would click on the link and go to his YouTube video and watch and watch his uh, training. Let me put that. Okay. I would go to his YouTube video and watch his training. Okay. And then I friended him on Facebook. I went to his Facebook profile, friended him. He accepted my friend request. And I started watching his training his value-based trainings on his Facebook profile he did Facebook lives several times a week and he would do some inspirational posts too but mostly uh, mostly he was doing Facebook lives and they were all training value-based videos okay and then, of course, at the end of those trainings, he would give what's called a, let me put it in green here, a call to action. CTA, call to action. That's basically at the end of his training. He would tell people if they want to find out more about the business he's in, to click a link or to, you know, or to message him or whatever. And he would send them a link to his business opportunity. That's a call to action, okay? He did that in his Facebook Lives. He did that in his YouTube videos. He did that in his emails, okay? And it took me several months before I decided to join him in that business opportunity. So I was on his email list for months. I was watching his YouTube videos for months. I was watching his Facebook Live trainings for months before I finally decided to join him in his business opportunity. It was not automatic. I did not sign up the very first time that I saw the opportunity. It took me months to join. Okay? So, the whole thing about people joining people, let me clear this off, basically you need people to get to know who you are, okay? So, this is what's called the know, like, and trust factor, okay? You got to let people know who you are. The more they know you, then they'll start liking you. And the more they like you, then they'll trust you. You'll develop that trust with them, and that's when they decide to join you in a business opportunity. So how do you get people to know, like, and trust you? Basically what I just told you. What did this guy that I joined in a business opportunity months later, what did this guy do? He provided value in his, on his Facebook profile, in his YouTube videos, in his emails, Okay? That's what he did. And that's what you need to do 
if you want to get signups in your business opportunity provide value always keep in mind the other person what can I do for this person what kind of training can I give this person to help them in whatever business they're in even if they're not in my business opportunity what kind of training can I give them that will help them grow as an entrepreneur that will help them grow in their business now if you're new you may be saying well I don't know anything so how can I provide value how can I give training here's the other aspect to this I L T I stands for invest L stands for learn and T stands for teach basically you want to invest in yourself invest in your business and learn from what you just invested in okay if you have to buy some type of training a uh, business training that will help you in your business you know help you do something in your business uh, you you know you're gonna have to invest in that okay invest doesn't mean just money you can invest your time go on YouTube check out some you know top earners that you uh, follow on YouTube see what they're talking about if they're giving a little tip or strategy on how to do this or that in your business you know start implementing that in your business all right and the more you learn it and the more action you take on it and action is very important on it in this okay don't just learn about it and then teach it actually put it into practice and then teach it okay so learn from these top earners what are they doing what are they talking about did they you know you're watching one of their videos and they give a great tip or strategy that can help people in their business pass that along to other people okay you know if you you know you don't have to say like act like you're the one who came up with this tip or strategy you could just say you know I found out about this strategy that can help you in your business let me tell you exactly how this works let me show you how it works bam that's it okay so it's not like you're lying to them saying you know I came up with this strategy so I'm gonna show you how this strategy works that will help you increase your sales in your business no just say I learned about this strategy today and it's a great strategy I'm going to show you how it works you know and I'm using it in my business too again that's the action part use it in your business if it's a good strategy and then you can teach it to others that's where the value comes into play okay you're providing value by providing training that will help people in their business again always keep the other person in mind when you do these trainings when you provide value how can I provide value to people today when you write your emails how can I provide value to the people who are reading my emails when you do a YouTube video what can I teach people today that will help them grow in their business Facebook posts what can I post on Facebook that will help people uh, develop their success mindset for their business stop thinking it stop thinking about yourself all the time think about the other person provide that value allow people to get to know you it's okay to be a little personal okay so the more they know you then they'll start liking you and the more they like you then they'll develop a trust with you and that's when the signups come in okay that's when the signups start but there's two other things that you need to do while you're providing value and doing the trainings and everything there are two other things that you need to do you need to be consistent and you need to be patient okay these two things right here are the reasons why most people fail 
in this industry. They're not consistent in doing those activities I just told you to do. Those activities are called income producing activities. They're not consistent in driving traffic to their offer. They're not consistent in building an email list. They're not consistent in emailing their list every day. They're not consistent in posting on Facebook several times a day. They're not consistent in putting up a YouTube video every day. They're not consistent in providing value to people every day. And then doing that call to action, which is very important. If you want people to sign up with you, you got to tell them about your business. They're not doing the call to action on a consistent basis. Okay? So you need to be consistent in your business. Do those income producing activities every single day. And then you need to be patient. You can't just try out a business. There's no such things as trying out a business. You're either in it or you're not. And a lot of people, they get into a business opportunity to try it out, to see if they'll make any money. And if they don't make any money in a couple of weeks, then they quit and give up and call it a scam, even though other people are making money. So when it comes to being patient, you can't just work this business, you know, a couple of weeks, three weeks, or even a month and expect to be making hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Some people don't even see their first sign up after a few weeks I know for me last year or yeah last year it took a month and a half for me to get my first commission there was a lot that I did not know last year okay it may not take you that long to get your first commission your first sign up but even if it does so what you just gotta keep at it keep being consistent and keep being patient how long do you have to be patient until until <laughs> so you have to be patient until you get your first sign up and then continue being consistent in your business keep doing those activities over and over and over again and don't stop eventually you get to a point you know every once in a while you get a sign up and then you know, you'll get to a point where you're getting a sign up a few, you know, a couple of times a week. And then you're getting a sign up almost every day. You know, it's like a snowball going downhill real fast. Starts off small at first and then gets larger and larger and larger. So that's how it's going to work in your business. Okay, it's going to be slow at first. It's going to be like a trickle at first. But then you'll get to a point where you start seeing those commissions coming in, you know, more steadily, you know, several times a week. And that's when you get to your momentum phase. You're building up momentum at that point. So just keep at it, be consistent, and be patient. All right? So keep doing those income-producing activities, be consistent with it, and be patient. Keep doing it until... All right. Now, if you're not in a business opportunity already, or if you're looking for a business opportunity, you can check out the one that I'm in. Just go ahead and click the very first link below this video in the description area, and you'll find out more information about it. All right. Again, I want to thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.